All right. So last time we had you guys come up with an idea for a game, right? Mm -hmm. This is uh, y'all are Project Shark Fin, mm -hmm. and um, on your Trello, if everybody can get logged into Trello here, uh, we have the game design document, which is a link. And uh, I'm looking at this here, and we've got a dungeon crawler, fight to the end for treasure, get wrecked, hack and slash, right? Uh, and I believe last time we've, we've already started development, we're rocking and rolling, we're making it happen, right? Awesome. Um, so one of the things that we're going to need, we need a new, a, a, we need a dedicated person to this game design document. Uh, we need a game designer for this project. And that person's job is going to be to organize this game design document and make it look better than the way it looks now and, um, and coordinate with all the departments to make sure that all the ideas that are getting changed and updated and all that, it, it shows up in the game design document. So that any time uh, somebody in here is like, oh man, I wonder what this idea was for this particular level, they just go to the game design document and it's there. So do we have anybody that's interested, that likes working with documents, that wants to do game design ideas and stuff? Nobody, huh? I guess so. I see like some half hands up. Huh? Do you want to do it? She She's going to do it. I see like two other people, but do you feel like you, you're cool with that? Yeah, I'm a guy. She's cool with it. I'm a guy. Huh? I'm a guy. You're a guy. Yeah, she, he's going to do it. Um, <laughs> Sorry, it's been a really long day. Uh, he's going to do it, and uh, so you just coordinate with all the other departments and stuff, right? Got that? Okay, cool. Um, all right, moving forward. Um, I need to show you guys something really quick, uh, and I'm going to record this, but it's basically how to work with the server, okay? Um, if you go to, well, just, I just want you guys to watch, okay? Okay. Um, so you guys are Project Shark Fin. Did we add your? Yeah. Okay, right. All right. So the first thing that you're going to do when you come into class every single day is you're going to update the project. Okay. So to update the project, and we can't all do this at one time because uh, you can't have 30 people hitting the server at one time. It just doesn't work. Okay. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come to class and you're going to click update. And if there's been any files or anything, it's it's going to it's gonna pull those those latest files. So once you're updated, then the next thing that you're gonna do is to work in the project, you launch the project, okay? Now, all of these files that are in here under Project Sharkfin coordinate to everything that you see inside of Unreal, okay? And again, you're not supposed to be doing this, just watch, all right? Because we don't want, if, if we have too many people hitting the server at one time, it just, it doesn't work, and goes slow and crazy, all right. So, let's say I'm a level designer and I want to make a file, or a new level, or whatever, okay? Or I'm a programmer and I want to make a blueprint, or I'm a character guy and I want to make a character, or whatever. You're a, a somebody. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to make a new level, alright? It's just called New World. And when I create it, it's not actually saved as a file yet. So for example, if I go into content, um, it would show up right here under content. It's not there yet. So I have to click save, and then once it's saved, it should show up, but it's not for some reason, which is odd. So I'll just go to save all, and then I'm gonna close Unreal. Okay, there it is, new world, okay? So as you can see here, you've got I got my new world here, but I have all these green icons here and red icons on my file folders. Well, this is a program that we've installed on here called Tortoise SVN. And in your right-click menu, you have the Tortoise SVN options, and you also have Update and Commit. You guys remember we did a little bit of this last time? A little bit, okay. Um, so these, these icons mean something. Green usually means okay, and red and yellow are usually bad. And basically what this software does is it syncs what you have locally on your computer to the server, okay? And so, for example, right now this new world, it doesn't have anything on it, and it's not on the server, it's just locally on my computer. So if I want to add this to the server so everybody can get access, 
I would right click on it and go to Tortoise SVN Add. <clears throat> and then a blue, a little blue add comes on there. And I can also hit F5 at any time to refresh the folder. Whoops. Um, now, there's a two-step two process to adding new files to the server. You have to add and then commit. So I'm going to go ahead and commit this now. SVN commit. So I'll put my last name and a note. Added my level. Okay. And it shows the level down here, and I just click OK. So it's going to go through this process, and it will ultimately commit. Now, I'm already logged in and everything, um, but normally it will ask you for a username and a password. Um, that'll be your GitHub username and password. You'll need a GitHub account. We'll do that here in a second. Um, another note is that there are multiple classes in this room and multiple people working on these computers on multiple projects. So sometimes authentication for this saves. So in order to get around that, uh, if somebody else has their authentication saved, you just right click on your project and go to Tortoise SVN settings and you'll go to save data and you have to clear out the authentication and then the username and the password prompt will pop up again and you can add yours when you try and do stuff. I know this is a lot, just 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 bear with me okay <clears throat> um, all right so now new world is in there it's green that means it's on the server and here on my local computer so at any point in time anybody in the room now can right click on project shark fin and do an update and it will pull that level on any of these computers it will pull that level okay um, so now let's say I want to like edit that level it's already on the server uh, and and all that so I'm going to fire up uh, Project Sharkfin again. And there's my level, okay? So let's just say I want to give this level a light. So I'm just going to drag a light in here and I'm going to drag a cube in here, okay? Anyway, it's in there. I don't know where my light's at. Let's give it another light. There we go. All right. I just made a change to my level, okay? I'm going to just click save and then I'll close Unreal. So Unreal, whenever you're working with the server, Unreal cannot be open, okay? So Unreal and server don't go together. Um, all right, so I go back into content and sure enough, uh, New World turns red here along with some other stuff, but New World turned red because I, ch I made an update to it. I, I updated it. So I'm gonna right click on that and just commit it. Add my last name so people know who I am. And then I'm gonna say, um, updated my level okay and now it pushes that to the server yeah I, I do hear music <laughs> it is on the speakers all right so um, so I now I pushed it to the server so at any any times somebody can click on the main project and just do an update and it'll pull that on my, my changes that I added. So there's a reason why we add your last name in a note. And if I right click on the project here and go to Tortoise SVN Show Log, I can see the log of all the changes that have been made. As you can see, this is y'all's project. You can see all the changes here. Updated my level, added my level, added project. Okay, these are all the changes that have happened so far. Now the cool thing about having the server and all these changes on here and everything is that at any given time, if one of you guys like breaks the project or breaks something, I can just right click on whatever update that was. First of all, I can find out who did it. So if it was Sammy, I can say Sammy, I can go write his name on the board and said Sammy bricked the project. <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that however we deal with that. But um, I can roll back, I can right click and I can roll back um, anybody that messed up the project, which is really cool. So that, that's why we have source control or SVN. Um, the main reason is because these projects with these games, millions and millions of dollars go into these game projects and you wanna make sure that you have a way to save a project if something goes wrong, right? Right, okay, cool. So that's why we do that. Um, all right, so say I wanna delete a file, okay? Just deleting a file isn't gonna do it because the file's located on the server also. 
so we need to do an SVN delete okay so I'm gonna right click on my world here uh, tortoise SVN delete and then I have to commit that again it's a two-part process so right click commit and um, there's some additional things down here that I didn't do so I unchecked those but it says here new world you map deleted always check what it's doing here um, to make sure that you're only committing things that you did okay as you can see I unchecked some of the things that and I'll, and I'll explain that here in a second so I had my last name deleted my map okay click OK so now it's gonna pull that map off the server pull it locally here and um, but again since I added a comment um, I can roll that back. I can roll back the deletion if I want to because it stores that on the server. It stores everything. It's fantastic. Um, the last thing that I'm going to say is that sometimes when you're working in in um, SVN here it and you open Unreal, SVN is very sensitive. Whenever there's a file that's slightly modified, if the size changes or, or anything gets modified, it's going to turn red or yellow. Okay, Some things like four, 400 by 400 asset I didn't edit that, okay? So you can just revert that. You just go to Tortoise SVN, revert. Okay? And then I can go back into here, third person. I didn't mess with any of this stuff. So I'm going to control click these, Tortoise SVN, revert. Okay? And. So when you open Unreal sometimes, for whatever reason, it's totally random, and I don't know why. You're flying around in Unreal, you're doing a million things. It, it, it messes with this file, and it messes with that file, right? And, and it's so sensitive that it'll just mark it as, it'll say, hey, this got edited, when you didn't actually do that. So you just revert it. Um, so then, <clears throat> again, my project is all green now. Everything's good. Um, good to go. Uh, two other things. If your project ever has a problem and there's lots of things that are like messed up in it or something, you can do a cleanup. So you go Tortoise SVN cleanup and you check all these top boxes except for the bottom three and click OK. And what it'll do is it'll run through and it'll check the server, it'll check what you have and make sure everything's everything's all good. Right? And then you can also you can also do a revert after that to revert all the files. There's nothing I need to revert here, and then I can do an update. I know that was a lot. I recorded it. I'm going to put it on uh, YouTube along with the first um, the, the videos that we did last class um, and stuff. So, all right. So now we need to kind of get you guys rolling here. Um, this was for the last class, but I'm sure some of it applies to you guys. Uh, we're going to continue to work on the project today. Um, I believe we're all sitting where we're supposed to be sitting, programmers. Yeah, level designers, where are my level designers at? Yep, level designers over there, okay. And this is art and character, Ooh. 2D, 3D, awesome. All right, so let's go over some tasks for today. Um, we have our game designer, who's gonna take care of the game design document. Yep. Um, all right, level, level people, we need top downs from you guys. Remember that, we talked about that a little bit last time top downs so each one of your levels we need top downs for it just grab a sheet of paper scribble some stuff and then you're gonna go over it as a group if you haven't done that already uh, character people where are my character people at awesome um, so you're gonna find the characters that you need online coordinate with level figure out you know what 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 characters you need you're gonna use Mixamo and Adobe fuse did I talk about Adobe fuse last time okay cool okay just open up Adobe Creative Cloud on your computer download Adobe Fuse. Um, th that goes straight into Mixamo and then you'll push that to Unreal. Um, also the, the Mixamo demo that we did in here for the characters, that's on the Richland gaming site. Remember the Mixamo demo that we did in here? That's on the gaming site. If you don't remember all the little details, just go back and, and look at that. Okay? 2D art. Where's my 2D artist at? Do we have any 2D artists in here? You're kind of a 2D artist? Okay. Um, well, we are going to need some screens. Uh, 1920 by 1080. We need a main menu, a logo, a game name, a start game, some buttons. Uh, we need a death screen, a HUD, and a pause screen. You're going to use Photoshop and do that stuff. 
Uh, yes, we actually have our own tablets. Oh, even better. Um, I will track those down right after this. Okay. Uh, 3D art. Where's 3D art at? Okay, one 3D artist. Okay. Uh, you're gonna coordinate with me after this. We're gonna get the medieval files on the server. Okay. Sound good? Awesome. Um, we also have sound and visual effects. If anybody's interested with that, if you, is that are you in this class? <laughs> All right. If anybody's interested in sound and visual effects, get with me after this, and we will get you going. Programmers, have y'all already started programming features? Okay. You need to coordinate with level design and figure out what features you need to do. Game designer, you're going to write those in the game design document. You got that? Okay. They, they need to know what to work on. Sound good? All right, so why don't, why don't you guys meet with the level guys? And um, character guys, why don't you meet with level guys too, figure out what characters, and then game designer, you should hang out over there too and, and just keep up with everybody. All right, let's go. Yes. Once again.